What's good YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can set two different situations for your audio tracks for your streams on Twitch. Um, I don't know if other sites have this, but Twitch will let you do it. So when you're streaming to Twitch, all you got to do is first and foremost, you want to go to your settings cog on one of your actual voice devices. Choose that right there and you want to choose advanced audio properties. Once we're inside of this right here, you want to make sure that anything you want your stream to hear is selected so I'm using number four so track four is what I'm using so I have all the things I want my stream to hear on track four and then on track one two and three there's only one thing selected so as you can see if you want your microphone to be by itself so when you're recording or you're streaming there's nothing else on it but your microphone you want to make sure it's only on track one by itself so voice meter track one Right here, track two, I like to put my Elgato capture card. So track two right there, nothing else selected. And then as far as track three, same situation. I choose just that, nothing else, voice meter aux. So coming over to the settings inside of OBS, you see that once we pull that up, we have the output section right here. So for streaming, I have four selected. It's not gonna let me make selections because I'm recording in two different softwares right now. But as you can see, if I chose track one, it's just gonna have my microphone go through. They're not gonna hear nothing else. If I choose track two, it's just gonna have my Elgato. Track three, that's my desktop audio. So I have to choose track four. So. If you have all four different things on a different track, you might have to choose five or six. It just depends on your situation. So I chose four. As far as the Twitch VOD track, this right here is gonna allow you to have your Twitch stream only hear certain things. So if you want to, you can select this box right here and then once you select that box, you can choose what track you want. So since I have everything going through four, I could choose track five. And then if I want to pull up this thing one more time, and as you can see, track five has everything going through as well. But if I didn't want them to hear the desktop, I could simply, you know, unselect that. They won't have it in the actual VOD. That's another way you can set up your recording as well. So as you see, I'm using one, two, and three is what I'm recording. So it works perfectly fine. These things are on their own tracks. So when I hit record, I'm not even getting some of the other ones as far as all of them mixed together or whatever the case may be, or something's missing from something. I'm getting just one, just two, and just three on one, two, and three, simply because that's how I set it up right here. So just that on one, just that on two, just that on three. If this video helped you out, please slam that like button. It's greatly appreciated. It helps these videos get put into the algorithm so people who need them can find them. Don't forget you can share these out as well. It's greatly appreciated if you do that because some of this stuff is seeming confusing, seeming hard to do, but it's not. But sharing them out could help someone avoid a headache or a lot of troubleshooting. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.